Auburn might have lost four of their last six games, but it's the postseason and the slate, it's been wiped clean. The four-seeded Tigers now 1-0 on the dance floor after posting a 62-58 victory over 13-seeded College of Charleston. But real talk here, it was by no means a layup, especially in the first half. Bryce Brown went 0-6 for from the field, and there wasn't a single shot made from three-point range. But when it mattered most, the Tigers came through with Brown and Jared Harper knocking down clutch shots in the final minutes of the game to pull away from the Cougars. Offensively, we were tight. Uh, we didn't we didn't cut screen, share, um, and we struggled. Uh, we struggled. Part of it is, you know, the way college and college, college Charleston guards, they do a good job, but we get we, we're gonna need to relax and, and, and play better together offensively in order to advance on Sunday. See y'all right there. Who's next? Who's next? Next up, an ACC versus SEC matchup with fifth seeded Clemson. And let me tell you, these dudes are riding a high with a record setting run in their first tournament appearance in seven years. They did, however, have to do it without one of their top leaders, Dante Grantham, who was sidelined late in January. But then again, Auburn knows all too well what it's like to play shorthanded, and they're still grinding in March, right? We'll see you on Sunday, Auburn fans. Until then, for more NCAA tournament coverage, you can hit us up on AL.com.